how to use a VPN on any Chromebook. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up a VPN on your Chromebook so that you can use the internet securely. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So using a VPN on your Chromebook is extremely easy and it really comes down to just going to the Google Play Store, finding the VPN that you want, installing it, and then it basically will set up itself. So I'm going to show you several different VPNs that I recommend, but they all cost money. The last one I show you will have a very capable free version, and I'll show you how to set that up on your Chromebook. So to get a VPN on our Chromebook, all we need to do is simply open up the Google Play Store, then select search, and we can just search for VPN. But it's very important to find trustworthy VPNs because all of our data will be routed through their servers. So the first one I'm going to recommend that is paid is going to be ExpressVPN. Check the description. I'll have direct links to these VPNs in the Google Play Store, so you can click those. It'll open it up in the Google Play Store, as well as discounts, so that if you do want to buy them, you can save some money. So ExpressVPN is very capable. It not only works on your Chromebook, but it'll work on almost any other device, including your computers, all types of phones, and it allows you to change regions. So if you want to get some benefits out of that, out of like using streaming services and changing your regions, you can do that as well. They also have a very fast service. The next and final VPN that I would recommend is going to be ProtonVPN. And ProtonVPN does have a paid tier and it works very well, but they also have a completely free tier that works forever. So you never have to worry about a trial running out and it even allows you to change your region. So one of the reasons I highly recommend ProtonVPN is because they're one of the highest rated VPNs for privacy. That's really their entire business model is privacy. They also have apps that are available on nearly all devices, including all your phones, computers, things like that. And in the free version, as well as in the paid version, you get the ability to change your region, select different servers. So maybe you can get one that's faster or get some benefits when you're using streaming services. So to set up and use ProtonVPN in your Chromebook, simply find it in the Google Play Store, select install. Once it installs, select open. All right, so when you first open up ProtonVPN, you'll see right here where we can sign into an account, but one of the coolest things with this app is you don't even need an account. You can just select continue as guest. Once you select continue, they will show you the prices for their paid tier. A lot of people trip up here and think that they have to pay for Proton VPN, but simply go to the bottom and select not now. And then as you can see, it says fastest free server. So all we need to do now to start using Proton VPN for free is simply select connect. You're going to see this screen come up where it's just going to ask us, do we want to allow Proton VPN to configure a VPN on our Chromebook? So simply select OK. It'll then configure it automatically. And then you can enable notifications, but I'm not going to. And once it says protected, that means that you are now using Proton VPN for free and your connection is now protected. And if we want to check to see if the VPN is ever running, we can go down here, select the clock, and you'll see VPN on with the little lock. We can select that. And that'll allow us to disconnect from the VPN. It also tells us which VPN's working. So if you ever wanted to turn off the VPN, just select disconnect, and that'll turn off Proton VPN. You don't even need to open up the app. Once in the app, you can also disconnect from the VPN. But if you want to, you can select change server. And if I do that, you can see that I'm now connected through Romania. So I was able to change my region just like that. And I can change my region again every one minute and 30 seconds. So really not that bad from a free VPN. I love that about Proton VPN. And I'm currently still connected to the VPN. I'm just going to do a quick speed test. This is routing through Romania. So we can see just how quick the VPN is. And as you can see there, around 20 megabits down and 40 megabits up. So very good speed coming out of a free VPN from Proton VPN. All right, so that's how you use a VPN on a Chromebook. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.